So let's do a chat real quick. Uh, it's, it's really easy. It's who controls the city, who controls the block, power to the people, fire killer cops. Who controls the city? Who controls the block? Power to the people, fire killer cops. Who controls the city? Who controls the block? Power to the people, fire killer cops. Who controls the city? Who controls the block? Power to the people, fire killer cops. Who controls the city? Who controls the block? Power to the people, fire killer cops. Who controls the city? Who controls the block? Power to the people. When I say police, we see violence. Police! Violence! Police! Violence! When I say police, we see violence. Police! Violence! Police! Violence! When I see police, we see violence. Police! Violence! Police! Violence! When I say police, we see violence. Police! Violence! Police! Violence!
on? Yeah. Are we on? Yeah. We're here today to deliver a piece of paper as a warning to those who are in power and have some control or say that they have some control over this rogue police department. We are here on behalf of Jose Mejia. We are here to deliver a piece of paper for Kendra James. We are here to deliver a piece of paper for James Jahar Perez. We are here to deliver a piece of paper for James Chassie. We are here to deliver a piece of paper for Aaron Campbell. We are here to deliver a piece of paper for Jack Dale Collins. And we are here to deliver a piece of paper for Keaton Otis. How dare the Portland Police Department and the media that is connected to it use the Red and Black's action to exercise their right to police their own area and to blow up that story of that cop getting kicked out of that establishment as if the life of Keaton Otis was not more important than a police officer yeah. getting denied coffee yeah. at a place Woo. where they don't want police officers. Yeah. They yeah. demonstrated what it looks like to have a police-free zone. Yeah. The red and black. We want communities that don't want the police right. to take charge of their own community and start exercising police-free zones. Yeah. I heard a police officer said that we don't any longer want to service the black community. Well, let me tell you, you never were servicing the black community. 